Good evening, and welcome to perhaps the most intriguing and important theater event you will attend this year. Witness a bold and daring play filled with thrills, mystery, and intrigue, possibly starring me, Brigitte Nielsen, star of Rocky IV. You're wonderful in that, by the way. Are we doing Hamilton? Hades Town? Anything goes? Man, I just love musical theater. No, no, Lars. It's a play from our homeland. Ah, oh, Denmark, land of Kierkegaard, Tycho Brahe, and the controversial filmmaker Lars von Trier. And don't forget about Hans Christian Andersen. I appreciate your penchant for fairy tales, Lars. Not what I expected from a metalhead. Well, I think if you look deeply into the world of metal, you'd find many stories of elves, Fascinating. fairies, Fascinating! And... It coincides with my starring role in Red Sonia, which is filled with elements of sorcery. And I'd like to make a case for the power of Ronnie James Dio in all of Led Zeppelin IV. Noted! Thank you both. I believe a deep dive into the mythology of heavy metal and Red Sonia is a subject for another time. Oh. <sighs> Were you in Lord of the Rings? Aren't you Aragorn? Dude, all three of us are into folklore. Is this a Danish thing? Perhaps it is. Thank you for that segue, which somehow leads us back to our original discussion. The play we are presenting to you this evening is an adaptation of one of Shakespeare's greatest dramas. Of course, we are referring to the tragedy of Romeo and Juliet, a play I used as inspiration on my time of Dancing with the Stars. Fascinating! But that's not what I'm referring to. Am I the only one who actually read the whole email? Dude, no one reads email anymore. Did you put it on Instagram? I only peruse Reddit. <sighs> the play we present to you this evening is an adaptation of legendary playwright William Shakespeare's Hamlet. Starring me, Brigitte Nielsen, actress, model, influencer. And also me, Lars Ulrich, drummer for the best band ever, Metallica. <laughs> and you, dude, Lord of the Rings guy. My name is Vigo Mortensen. It could be argued that no one is the star of Lord of the Rings. It's an ensemble. Everyone's a star, darling. Perhaps we should just get on with it. We present to you Hamlet in a Nutshell. With awesome puppets. Yeah! <laughs> Who's there? Nay, answer me. Oh, long live the king. Get thee to bed. Oh, for this relief, much thanks. What? Has this thing appeared again tonight? Peace. Break thee off. Look where it comes again. <laughs> Looks it not like the king? <laughs> By heaven, I charge thee, speak. <laughs> Words! Oh. Tis here! <laughs> Tis there! Oh. Tis gone! <sighs> oh. But look, the morning russet mantle clad walks over the dew of yon high eastern hill. Let us impart what we have seen tonight unto young Hamlet. To the castle we go, where intrigue awaits. Intrigue? Similar to my starring role as the villain in Beverly Hills Cop 2. This whole thing needs more drum! Go, Captain. From me, greet the Danish king. Tell him that by his license, Fortinbras craves the conveyance of a promised march over his kingdom. Uh, dude, I think you're a little early in the play. What dost thou mean? If I'm not mistaken, you are Fortinbras, who appears in Act 4, Scene 4 of Hamlet. Oh, but you are awfully handsome. He. I am Fortinbras, Prince of Norway, enemy to Denmark. I'd be careful with that statement. There's a lot more Danes carrying swords than there are Norwegians in this play. My captain and I retreat, and later we shall return with an army of such force the Danes must need tremble. Off to Poland with you. Now, 
Now, Laertes, what is the news with you? Uh, my thoughts and wishes bend again toward France. Have you your father's leave? What say you, Polonius? <laughs> I do beseech you, give him leave to go. Mm, viva la France, Laertes. Ah, and now my son, Hamlet. A little more than kin and less than kind. How is it that the clouds still hang on you? <laughs> Not so, my lord. I am too much in the sun. Good Hamlet, cast thy knighted color off, and let thine eye look like a friend on Denmark. Do not forever with thy veiled lids seek for thy noble father in the dust. Thou knowest tis common, all that lives must die, passing through nature to eternity. Aye, <sighs> madam, it is common. Cheer, my love, let not thy mother lose her prayers, Hamlet. I pray thee stay with us, go not to Wittenberg. I shall in all my best obey you, madam. Why, tis a loving and fair reply. Let us now party! Yay! Oh, that this too, too solid flesh would melt. That it should come to this. But two months dead, so loving to my mother, frailty, thy name is woman. Married with my uncle, my father's brother, but no more like my father than I to Hercules. The funeral baked meats did coldly furnish forth the marriage tables. <sighs> my lord, I think I saw him yesternight. The king, your father, upon the platform where we watched. What? Oh, every single time I thought we fixed this. According to the script, only Bernardo and Francisco were present. Fletch it cuts, my lord. Trust that what I am telling you is true. Oh, yeah. Fine. <clears throat> Tis very strange. Budget cuts? Nay, my father. Oh, right. Armed, my lord. A countenance more in sorrow than in anger. My father's spirit in arms? All is not well. Would that the night would come! So let me get this straight so far. We have a new king, yes? Who is Hamlet's uncle? Totally. And Queen Gertrude, who's Hamlet's mother, married her brother-in-law. Hamlet is not feeling that, dude. It was often the case that brothers married widows within a family. Uh, if Frank Stallone had attempted to marry me upon Sylvester's death, I would have crushed him with my Mercedes. Rock on, Brigitte. Not only do we have this strange turn of events, we also seem to have a ghost, Hamlet's real dad, haunting the castle. I like ghosts. You might not if the ghost was your dad. You know, my dad was a professional tennis player. You know, you didn't have time to be haunting. He was working on his serve. I also play tennis. Perhaps I could meet your father? <laughs> He's 92. Never say never. I believe it is time we learned more of our ghost. Proceed, players. The king doth wake tonight and take his rouse. Though I am native here and to the manor born, it is a custom more honored in the breach than in the observance. Look, my lord, it comes! <gasps> <gasps> what hast thou seen, Francisco? Speak! <laughs> Fie! Thou art not my father! It is Marcellus! <laughs> From theme one, you were missing! I was cut for time. Look, my lord, it comes! <laughs> you, you, you! For God's love, where is my father's spirit? He appears! It beckons you to go away with it, as if it's some imparchment to desire to you alone. Look, with what courteous action. It waves you to a more removed ground. But do not go with it! No! By no means! It will not speak. And I will follow it. Do not, my lord! Why? What should be the fear? It waves me forth again. I'll follow it. Th th thou art a scholar. S speak to it, Horatio! I did! But answer it made none. Ooh! Oh, Angels and ministers of grace defend us! Be thou a spirit of health, 
or goblin damned, bring with thee airs from heaven, or blast from hell, be thy intents wicked or charitable, thou comest in such a questionable shape. My hour is almost come, when I to sulfurous and tormenting flames must render up myself. <laughs> Alas, poor ghost! Pity me not, but lend thy serious hearing to what I shall unfold. Speak, I am bound to hear. I am thy father's spirit. Revenge his foul and most unnatural murder. <gasps> murder? Murder most foul, as in the best it is, but this most foul, strange, and unnatural, the serpent that did sting thy father's life now wears his crown. Oh, my prophetic soul, mine uncle, Revenge! <laughs> There are more things in heaven and earth than are dreamt of in your philosophy. Never make known what you have seen tonight. My, My lord, we will not. not! Hereafter, I shall think meet to put an antic disposition on, that you, at such time seeing me, never shall note or speak that you know of me. This do swear. Swear! The time is out of joint. <laughs> oh, curse it's spite that ever I was born to set it right. My necessaries are embarked. Farewell. Let me hear from you. Do you doubt that? Before I sail, a word. Of Hamlet, beware. Weigh what loss your honor may sustain. If with too credent ear you list his songs, or lose your heart, or your chaste treasure open to his unmastered importunity. Fear it, Ophelia. Fear it, my dear sister, and keep you in the rear of your affection, out of the shot of danger and desire. I shall the effect of this good lesson keep, as watchman to my heart. But good, my brother. Do not, as some ungracious pastors do, show me the steep and thorny way to heaven, whilst, like a puffed and reckless libertine, himself the primrose path of dalliance treads, and reeks not his own reed. <laughs> Yet here, Laertes, aboard, uh, aboard, uh, for uh, shame! Uh, the wind sits in the shoulder of your sail, and you are stayed for. There. My blessing with thee. Neither a borrower nor a lender be. Most humbly do I take my leave, my lord. Farewell, Ophelia, and remember well what I have said to you. Tis in my memory locked, and you yourself shall keep the key of it. <laughs> How now? What is it, Ophelia? My lord, as I was sewing in my closet, Lord Hamlet with his doublet all embraced, no hat upon his head, his stockings fouled, pale as his shirt, his knees knocking each other, and with a look so piteous in purport, as if he had been loosed out of hell to speak of horrors. He comes before me. Mad for thy love? My lord, I do not know, but truly I do fear it. What? Have you given him any hard words of late? No, my good lord. But as you did command, I did repel his letters, and denied his access to me. That hath made him mad. I have found the very cause of Hamlet's lunacy. Look where sadly the poor wretch comes reading. What do you read, my lord? Words, words, words. Though this be madness, there be some method in it. I am but mad from north to northwest, where the wind is suddenly... I know a hawk from a handsaw. <laughs> the actors come hither, my lord. We'll hear a play tomorrow. Let us haste to hear it, and call the noblest to the audience. Ah, oh, God! Every time, every time, he just can't get it right. And thou art early! Pray thee what? Early, as in the sun rising in the east. To this play, you do not appear until at the last. In the rising action, are we still? I have some rights, 
of memory in this kingdom, which now to claim my vantage doth invite me. Aye, later thou shalt have opportunity to recapture what it is you claim is rightfully yours. May I proceed? I shall retreat, only to return. <laughs> we'll hear a play tomorrow. I have heard that guilty creatures sitting at a play have by the very cunning of the scene been struck so to the soul that presently they have proclaimed their malefactions. <gasps> I'll have these players play something like the murder of my father before mine uncle. If he but blench, I know my course. The play's the thing wherein I'll catch the conscience of the king. <laughs> To be, or not to be? <laughs> that is the question. <laughs> My lord? Get thee to a nunnery! <laughs> <laughs> Love, his affections do not that way tend. There's something in his soul o'er which his melancholy sits on brood. He shall with speed. To England. I pronounced it to you trippingly on the tongue. Oh, let's twirl the mirror up to nature. In other words, I'm inventing the concept of realism. You did. Madam, how like you to play? What the lady doth protest too much, methinks. Oh, you shall see anon how the murderer gets the love of Gonzago's wife. Oh, oh my. Oh. He's going to his mother's closet. Behind the heiress, I'll convey myself to hear the process. Whoa! This play's even crazier than my fight against Napster. I appreciate that brave battle, my friend. It's even crazier than when I appeared in that corn video. I'll bet you didn't know that many of the band members in corn worked at Toys R Us. Hence, the backwards are in their spelling. Fascinating and completely unrelated to this play. Dude, don't knock another band's legacy. Lars, I believe Korn also filed a lawsuit against illegal distribution of their t-shirts. People of Denmark, we are here to discuss Hamlet. Let's get on with it. Korn will be the topic of another time, Brigitte. In fact, it leads me to think about all the musicians who came out of Bakersfield. Merle Haggard. Gah! <laughs> <laughs> now, mother, what's the matter? Hamlet, thou hast thy father much offended. Mother, you have my father much offended. <gasps> what wouldst thou do? Thou wilt not murder me. Help! Ho! What? Ho! Help! 
How now? A rat? Dead for a duck and dead! Stab me, stab, 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 stab. Oh, 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 I am slain. Oh. <coughs> oh, me, what hast thou done? Nay, I know not. Is it the king? Oh, what a rash and bloody deed is this! <laughs> a bloody deed! Almost as bad, good mother, as kill a king and marry with his brother! <gasps> Thou wretched, rash, intruding fool! Farewell. Ooh, revenge! Save me! And hover o'er me with your wings, you heavenly guards! Alas, he is mad! Oh! <laughs> must be cruel, only to be kind. God, you're heavy. Come on, we get it. Come on, come on, come on. Now, Hamlet, where's Polonius? At supper. At supper? Where? Not where he eats, but where he is eaten. A certain convocation of politic worms are even at him. <gasps> Hamlet, for that which thou hast done, this deed must send thee hence with fiery quickness. Uh, therefore prepare thyself. The bark is ready, and everything is bent for England. For England? Aye, Hamlet. Good. <laughs> so is it, if thou knewest our purposes. And England... If my love thou holdst at aught, thou mayest not coldly set our sovereign process, the present death of Hamlet. <laughs> Do it, England! <laughs> the interruption. This is where the play gets a little tricky. Hamlet is sailing to England with his so-called friends Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, who have betrayed him. I love this part, man! He steals the letter which calls for his beheading and boards a ship with some pirates and returns to Denmark. It's so rock and roll! I have been on a boat with pirates many times. In fact, two of my lovers, Sean Penn and Flavor Flav, we're often pirate-like. Thank and you, then... Brigitte! Where is my father? Uh, <coughs> dead. They put him bare-faced on the pier. Hey, nanny, nanny, hey, nanny. And in his grave rained many a tear. Fare you well, my dove. Dear maid, kind sister, sweet Ophelia, oh, heavens! Is it possible a young maid's wit should be as mortal as an old man's life? <laughs> There's rosemary, that's for remembrance. Pray you, love, remember. And there is pansies, that's for thought. Hadst thou thy wits, and didst persuade revenge, it could not move thus. And where the offense is, let the great axe fall. <laughs> Oi! What is he that builds stronger than either the mason, the shipwright, or the carpenter? Ooh, a grave maker! The houses he makes last till doomsday! <laughs> Ooh, in youth when, when I, I did lie, lie methought me it was, was so sweet. sweet! Have these fellows no feeling of his business? <laughs> they sing in grave making. Custom hath made them in a property of easiness. Whose grave is this, sir? <coughs> oh, this same skull, sir, was Yorick's skull. 
the king's jester. Oh, alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. Uh, how long hast thou been Gravemaker? Of all the days in the year, I came to it that day that our last king Hamlet overcame Fortinbras. Oh, how long is that since? Cannot you tell that? Every fool can tell that. It was that very day that young Hamlet was born. He that is mad and sent into England. I, Mary, why was he sent into England? Why? Because he was mad! He shall recover his wits there, or if he do not, to no great matter there. Why? Twill not be seen in him there. There the men are as mad as he. And what me said, sweet man? <laughs> How came he mad? Very strangely, they say. How strangely? <laughs> but so, that is Laertes. What ceremony else? Lay her in the earth, and from her fair and unpolluted flesh may violet spring. A ministering angel shall my sister be. <laughs> the Therophilia? What is he whose grief bears such an emphasis? It is I, Hamlet the Dane. The devil take thy soul! What? <laughs> Away thy hand! <laughs> Hamlet. Hamlet! 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 I loved Ophelia, what wilt thou do for her? Oh, he is mad, Laertes. The cat will be with the dog will have his day. <laughs> There's a divinity that shapes our ends. Rough hew them how we will. But thou wouldst not think ill all's here about my heart. But tis no matter. We defy augury. There is special providence in the fall of a sparrow. If it be now, it is not to come. If it be not to come, it will be now. If it be not now, yet it will come. The readiness is all. Come on, sir. Come, my lord. One. No. A hit. A very palpable hit. Who are you? I'm an omniscient narrator. All powerful. <laughs> okay, we had to cut Osric because we didn't have enough money for another puppet. No, 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 no. Community college. Hamlet, here's to thy health. Give him the cup. The queen carouses to thy good fortune, Hamlet. Gertrude, do not drink! I will, my lord. My lord, I'll have at him now. them, they are incensed. They bleed on both sides. I am justly killed by my own treachery. The Drake. The Drake. I am poisoned. Treachery! Seek it out! <gasps> it is here, Hamlet! Hamlet, thou art slain! Lo, here I lie, never to rise again! The king! The king's to blame! <laughs> the point in Venom, too. Then Venom to thy work! Stab! <laughs> <laughs> Exchange forgiveness with me, noble ham. I follow thee. Horatio, I am dead. Give me the cup. Here's yet some liquor in it. Oh, if thou didst ever hold me in thy heart, absent thee from felicity a while. And in this harsh world, draw thy breath in pain to tell my story. <sighs> the rest is silence. <laughs> oh, 
Good night, sweet prince, and flights of angels sing thee to thy rest. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> so ends our story of Hamlet. Dude, this play is so tragic. It's like the most tragic of all tragedies. And political. I mean, we didn't really get into the part about Norway in that hot-blooded Fortinbras. Wait, where is that dude? I appear. Let four captains bear Hamlet like a soldier to the stage, for he was likely, had he been put on, to have proved most royal. And for his passage, the soldier's music and the right of war speak loudly for him. Take up the bodies. Such a sight as this becomes the field, but here shows much amiss. Go, bid the soldiers shoot. It's quite a journey we've been on together. Like when you went to Mordor. Let's say goodnight to our audience now. Good night to all of you out there. And remember, if you're feeling bad, there's nothing that Master of Puppets can't solve. <laughs>